Oh, welcome back, pre-calc students. We got a problem here where two bulldozers are shoving a concrete pillar uh, during the uh, building of a high-rise, which is a big skyscraper or whatever. It's being pushed by two bulldozers at exactly the same time in two different directions. Uh, one exerts a force of 1,550 pounds in a westerly direction. And so I started the pillar off here, and it's being pushed this way by one bulldozer. And it's also being pushed north by another bulldozer at 13 or 3050 pounds in a northerly direction so using what we talked about yesterday which is the triangle method we're going to basically build our vector um, and sort of to scale here a little bit so if it's 3050 I need to make this sort of about like that all right now that isn't exactly the scale but 3050 pounds and uh, this is going north, so this will be our y direction. And what you need to find, and I'll put the resultant vector in pink, is that right there, which I'm going to totally where you draw neater, like that right there. All right. So our two questions we have to know. We've got two bulldozers pushing a giant concrete pillar, one this way in the westerly direction, one this way almost twice as hard in the northerly direction uh, and it wants to know what is the magnitude of the resultant force upon the piling so these are in pounds these you know f one way to measure force besides newtons is just in pounds like body weight and whatnot um, so if you're being pushed around how many pounds of force is being pushed in this diagonal direction at the same time on this pillar and that is nothing more than a uh, Pythagorean theorem type problem so go ahead and try to figure that out. I'm going to pause the video. All right. So I have this set up using Pythagorean theorem. Basic right triangle right here. This is all this is. Um, square this, square this, equals C squared. The result of that, after you do all the thing, you get some giant numbers here. But it's somewhere around 3,421 pounds. Now I'm going to round that to the nearest pound. So that would be our resultant vector 3421 pounds LBS that's the answer to a B says what's the direction of the resulting force the direction of the resulting force would be this angle right here so now to find that angle there's th exactly three ways to do this but I'm gonna stick with the blue um, numbers and uh, to get this angle, I'm just going to do tangent. So the tangent of angle, we'll call it angle theta, because that's what we usually call it, angles. Tangent of theta would be opposite over adjacent. Just for the heck of it, I'll write that one time. It's been a while since we've done that. But the tangent of theta, which we don't know, is 3,050 divided by 1,550. And if you do that and round it to the nearest degree, that's going to be somewhere around 63 degrees. 63 degrees. And this would be the answer to B. Uh, these problems, very cool. You know, this is an example of where you're given the component vectors, the blue ones, and you're asked to find the resultant vector magnitude and direction remember guys if you're like what's a magnitude this is the magnitude right there that's the magnitude of the resultant vector this is the direction okay magnitude and direction have a good one